Your Mac is running slow, apps are freezing, and you're left wondering, what's going on under the hood? Right now, your Mac's secret control panel holds the answers. It's called Activity Monitor, and it's more than just your task manager. Today, I'll show you how to track down hidden resource hogs, speed up your system, and even control apps like a pro. Stick around, what you'll learn could completely change how you use your Mac. Let's start with this. Activity Monitor is not just for tech experts. It's a tool for everyone. Think of it as your Mac's control center where you can see which apps are eating up your memory, CPU, and even battery life. But here's the catch. Most Mac users either don't know it exists or are too intimidated to open it. Trust me, by the time we're done, you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. First, let's get this tool open. Go to Applications, then Utilities, and you'll see Activity Monitor. Or for a faster way, press Command plus Space. Type Activity Monitor and hit Enter. Easy, right? Now, when it opens, you'll see something that looks like a spreadsheet. Don't let it scare you. It's your Mac talking to you. Let's tackle the most important tab first, CPU. This shows you how much processing power apps are using. If your Mac feels slow, look for any app that's hogging a lot of CPU. Pro tip, sort by percentage CPU by clicking the column header. If you see an app using 100% or more, that's a red flag. You can quit it right from here. More on that in a moment. Next, memory. If your apps keep crashing or you see the dreaded spinning beach ball, this is where you should look. Check the memory pressure graph at the bottom. Green means good, yellow means you're running low, and red. Well, that's trouble. Look for apps with a high memory number and decide if you need to keep them open. MacBook users, this tab is your best friend. It shows which apps are draining your battery. Look at the energy impact column. The higher the number, the more battery it's using. If your battery keeps dying fast, check here first. The disk tab shows which apps are reading and writing to your drive the most. If you hear your Mac's fan spinning or notice it's running hot, this tab can reveal the culprit. Keep an eye out for apps writing a lot of data that can slow down your entire system. Finally, the Network tab. Ever feel like your internet is slower than it should be? This tab shows you which apps are sending and receiving the most data. If you're on a limited connection or just want to prioritize certain apps, this is where you'll find out what's hogging your bandwidth. Okay, you've identified a problematic app. Now what? You can quit it directly from Activity Monitor. Select the app, click the X button at the top, and choose Quit or Force Quit. But a word of caution, only force quit an app if it's unresponsive. Quitting critical apps could cause problems, so double check before hitting that button. Here's a power user tip. You can customize the columns in each tab. Right click on the column headers and choose which metrics you want to see. For example, in the CPU tab, you can add idle wakeups, which shows how often an app is waking your Mac from sleep mode. Now that you're comfortable with the basics, let's look at some advanced features. Did you know you can sample a process to understand exactly what it's doing? Right-click on an app and choose Sample Process. This generates a detailed report that's super useful if you're troubleshooting or working with tech support. Activity Monitor isn't just a tool, it's your Max Heartbeat Monitor. Knowing how to use it puts you in control of your system, whether you're troubleshooting, optimizing performance, or just curious about what's happening behind the scenes. 
Here's my challenge to you. Spend five minutes exploring Activity Monitor today. Look at each tab, identify one app that's overworking your system, and take action. Then, come back and share your experience in the comments. Let's create a community of Mac pros helping each other out. And if you want to level up your Mac skills even further, check out my channel's playlist on Mastering Mac OS Tools. I'll see you there.